this is Caroline Kalinsky. Joe Patopoulos. And I'm here with Mr. G. And I'm here with Mr. Sula. And I'm here with Ms. Mazzola. So I'm here with Mr. Foster. I'm here with Mr. Casho. I'm here with Mr. Bang. And I'm here with Mr. Lasco. Hello. Our new chemistry teacher. The new, but not so new, teacher at Lodi High School. The new bio teacher at Lodi. The new Spanish teacher at Lodi High School. The new physics teacher of LHS. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. Thank you. Um, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. So, if you would be any fruit in the world, what would you be and why? A fruit? Oh golly. Okay, that's a good question. That's a hard one. Any fruit? Um, fruit or food? Fruit. Any food in the world? Uh, Starting with a tough one. Yeah. Um, I will have to say a watermelon. Watermelon. I would be a pineapple. Probably a tomato. I think I would probably be a tomato. Uh, a banana? No. A pineapple. Pineapple. Like pineapple. I would be a peach. A mango. A nice strong color. Uh, okay. Tastes pretty good. And uh, we both a fruit and a vegetable, so. You like uh, the color red? Right? Yeah, pretty good color. Yeah. Oh, because it's mysterious. Not a lot of people know it's a fruit. And it's good for you. Apple because it's very difficult to work with. <laughs> um, hard to approach. Which I know that I am often hard to approach, but once you get past the uh, you know, spiny outer part, oh, it's really cool, and he's really sweet. So because it's a hard shell from the outside, but it's sweet. That's what Mr. Foster said too. Did he really? Yep. Nice. <laughs> watermelon, because I love summer, and watermelon reminds me of summer. So they're great. They are sweet and they're sour. So I am sweet. But sometimes I'm a little sour. I grew up eating watermelon. It's my favorite fruit in the world. Because <laughs> they're my favorite fruit. And um, it just, you know, reminds me of summertime and nice weather, being tropical, even though you can eat it obviously any time of the year. So, where are you from? Uh, Lodi. Uh, Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. It's in uh, Union County. I'm originally from New York, uh, the West Point area. Mm -hmm. So, I was actually born in the Philippines. I'm from Paramus, New Jersey. Uh, originally, and I am from Venezuela. I live about 15 minutes away. So. Oh, nice. I'm about 30, 35 minutes from here. Originally from Egypt, but I moved to Lodi and I've been up Lodi for now. And uh, you came directly to Jersey? I actually did. I came to Lodi, and then from Lodi, I moved to Hackensack. I uh, went to high school in Hackensack. And, uh, oh, okay. I'm from Lodi. I've uh, been in Lodi since I was basically born. Uh, so that's 30 years ago. Yeah, no, I well, basically like the back of my hand, which is a bad analogy since I don't know what's on the back of my hand anyway. I'm from North Hamilton, New Jersey. It's in the same county. It's about 25 minutes from here. I moved to New Jersey when I was five. I grew up in Leonia, um, moved to Milford, went to school in Delaware, and now I'm back in Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, where did you go to college? Uh, James Madison University. It's in uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia. Probably about five hours from here, give or take. Montclair State University. Burn Community College. And then from there I went to uh, King University. I went to SUNY Albany uh, for my undergrad and then I stayed there for grad school. I went to King University. I went to Siena College. And where is that? That's in Albany, New York. So did you attend college in Delaware? Yes, in University of Delaware. Oh, wow. I, I know one of the teachers that went there. Yes, I met. Yes, we talked about that. Yeah. We were very excited. <laughs> I went to William Patterson for my undergrad. Uh, got my degree in music and then went to Montclair to get my physics degree. What did you major in? I majored in English and then I also stayed um, and did the five-year teaching program, so I got my master's in education. Uh, mathematics and I wanted to do physics but I decided not to. What changed your mind? I like math more. And I was there doing my epidemiology studies uh, until 2010 and then I moved down here and I finished up my master's in teaching at William Patterson. Epidemiology. epidemiology. Yep. So I studied uh, epidemics in the population. I studied infectious. Oh, okay, so like yeah. like Ebola and. and yep. Yeah, okay. I was primarily working with uh, Lyme disease and other vector borne I majored in math and I minored in computer science. Mm -hmm. I got my bachelor's in science and technology and I got my master's in instruction and curriculum. Management. I majored in history and I minored in women's studies. What inspired you to be a teacher? Well, you know, it's funny, I actually have a family that is filled with teachers, and I really fought that for a long time. I said I wanted to do my own thing, and that's kind of why I went into the hard sciences. But I found out that every job that I had had an education component to it, 
and that was my favorite part of each job that I had. I knew I wanted to be a teacher since I was very little, but I did have a physics teacher in high school who inspired me to, to want to become a teacher, just the way that she inspired us to be good citizens, and she also had a way of describing things and breaking things down for students who maybe were struggling. You know, my mom was a teacher, and it's always really nice to see how rewarding it was for her, and so it was definitely something that I considered. And James Madison had a really good teaching program, so uh, the stars kind of aligned. Honestly, I didn't know I was going to be a teacher until first year of college. I used to help people around and stuff, and I just liked it, so I just went for it. I like working with the students, I like helping people, and I really like working with students where I get to see like the light bulb go on, like, oh, they learned something. And I figured I'd go with what was my educational specialty, which was math and science, and physics kind of fits the middle. I would have to say in college I ran the tutoring program at my school. So we went to an inner city school in Albany, New York, and we helped middle school students with their homework after school and stuff, and I loved it. Growing up I was really quiet, I was shy, I was not a student whose voice was heard really at all in the classroom. And I, but I was really interested in school, and I think that really you know made me more cautious of being heard and having a voice for yourself. And, you know, the more I thought about it, I wanted to help students to find their voice and be an advocate for them and have them be an advocate for themselves and um, hopefully, you know, have them appreciate history to a certain extent, even if it's not something they think they love. I actually had great teachers, you know, in, at the middle school level, at the high school level, and that inspired me to go on and be a teacher. And you wanted to continue to be great. Correct. And I, and I also saw myself, you know, there's not a lot of male Spanish teachers. Mm -hmm. And I see myself as an example that they can see on myself that if, if they work hard, uh, they can apply themselves yeah. and actually excel. That's I awesome. So, um, how's your first week been here? It's been amazing. I've had a great time. I love all my kids. My students are great. And my classes are really fun. My subject is my favorite subject to teach, obviously. And I just think science really lends itself to being a fun subject. Very good. I'm just getting to know my surrounding, getting used to, you know, I have lab periods, so I'm really excited about that. Getting used to the atmosphere is very nice, and so far I'm very excited for the whole the rest of the year. It's been really good. A lot of people have been really nice. It's been good. I like my schedule. I like all my students. I like it. Everyone's been so nice, so helpful, so thanks everyone for doing that for me. So yeah, it's good. It's going really well. Students are happy students this year. Been, it's been a good week. I was very tired this weekend, but it's the good kind of tired mm -hmm. where you know, you know, you, you've been productive. But it's, you know, I look forward to the rest of the school year. It was great getting to know students, my colleagues, everyone's been really, really nice, very supportive. Um, and I get forward to getting to know everyone even better. First week's been great. Yeah, I really have no complaints. I've got great classes. Everybody's been participating, everybody's been helpful. The rest of the staff has been really nice and pleasant. So I've been Good time. Other than it being extremely hot. Mm -hmm. A little hot, but I don't really think anyone can do anything about that, so. It's very warm in here. I definitely have had to drink a lot of water since I've been here, which is good because you should always drink water, but uh, very hot. Well, it's been a little warm, you know, but I'm trying to lose weight. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's been very hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get all the Uh, hot. You see, everyone usually says it's very hot. <laughs> You're it is hot. <laughs> That's true, but really, I can't complain because everyone's been so nice, so it makes it that much better. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone's in the same boat. <laughs> to end this, uh, fun fact about yourself. For the past three years, I taught over at uh, Bergen Charter in Hackensack and actually coached the basketball team over there. I'm a competitive video game and card game player. What types of games and cards? Games, I play a lot of Pokemon, and in card games, I play a lot of Mac. <laughs> I have two puppies, Stella and Sunny. They're Shishans, so Shih Tzu, Bijan, Mix. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's so nice. Thanks. I have three accordions and I don't know how to play one. I actually enjoy Colombian music. Oh, okay. Uh, it's based with the accordion and I just bought three the other day and they're sitting in my house and I don't know how to play it. When I was in high school, I won friend the end. You know, at the end of the year, I wanted to have the yearbook. <laughs> You all vote on who's like the nicest or the most athletic. I went friendliest and I didn't actually know many people so it was crazy how other people knew that I was so friendly. So I have a, a younger brother who's actually in high school right now. So he's a junior right now. He's, today's his first day of school actually. And I say it's a fun fact because it's 
I feel like I'm with high schoolers every single day, and when I visit my parents and I visit him, I feel like it doesn't end. You know, when I'm constantly on top of him, pushing him to finish his homework. So I feel like I'm just surrounded by high schoolers all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles. <laughs> I jump out of planes for fun. Jump out of planes? I do. Oh, nice. Yep, I'm certified skydiver, and that's my weekend. When did you start doing that? <laughs> I actually started, that was back in 2009, and I did my first skydive on my one year anniversary of being done with cancer. Awesome. Yeah. So I decided, you know, I already fought case cancer and survived. What other kind of shenanigans can I do? That's really yeah. cool. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, well it was very nice talking to you. Thank you so much. It was nice talking to the both of you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs>